It did not arrive with an announcement, no press conference, no dramatic unveiling speech. Instead, it appeared quietly, in parade formations, in grainy satellite photos, in five-digit serial numbers painted onto stealth gray fuselages. China's most advanced fighter had changed. This was not just another upgrade, not just another variant. This was the J-20S, a two-seat stealth fighter, and with it, a signal that the way China plans to fight future wars has fundamentally shifted. Today, on Armory Unveiled, we break down how the J-20S quietly entered operational service, why a second crew member may redefine air combat, and how China is building a networked, manned-unmanned warfighting system that could challenge air superiority across the Indo-Pacific. Before the J-20S, there was the Mighty Dragon. When China first revealed the J-20 in 2011, it shocked the world. A nation once dependent on copied designs had leapt directly into the fifth-generation era. Stealth shaping, internal weapons base, long-range interception capability. By the early 2020s, the J-20 was no longer experimental. It was operational, expanding rapidly, and forming the backbone of the People's Liberation Army Air Force. Then came the J-20A, with improved avionics, refined sensors, and enhanced data fusion. But China was not done, because future air combat was no longer about a single pilot in a single aircraft, it was about networks. In the West, stealth fighters are almost always single seat. The logic is simple, automation replaces crew. But China asked a different question. What happens when the pilot is no longer the center of the battle? The answer arrived in 2024 at the Zhuhai Air Show. A J-20, longer canopy, tandem seating, two crew stations, the J-20S. Almost immediately, analysts dismissed it as a trainer. They were wrong. The second seat is not for learning to fly. It is for fighting the information war. The rear crew member is believed to act as a mission systems operator responsible for electronic warfare, sensor fusion and battlefield management, data link coordination, and most importantly, control of unmanned aircraft. Modern air combat generates more data than a single human can process. The J-20S divides the workload. One crew member flies the jet, the other fights the war. This mirrors emerging concepts seen in next-generation programs worldwide, where aircraft are no longer individual platforms, but command nodes. By mid-2025, speculation ended. Photographs emerged showing J-20S aircraft with front-line markings, five-digit serial numbers, national insignia, assigned to the 172nd Air Brigade, a unit historically reserved for China's most advanced fighters. Then came the turning point, September 3rd, Victory Day Parade. The J-20S flew publicly alongside standard J-20 and J-20A variants. State media confirmed what analysts already suspected. The rear seat was designed for electronic warfare and unmanned aircraft guidance. This was not a prototype. The J-20S was operational. In modern warfare, dominance comes from coordination. In late 2025, the PLAF footage released something unprecedented, a J-20 flying alongside a GJ-11 stealth UCAV supported by a J-16D electronic warfare aircraft. No weapons fired, no combat scenario, but the message was unmistakable. China is building a family of systems. The J-20S is designed to sit at the center of that family, directing drones, managing sensors, and orchestrating strikes beyond visual range. This is the same concept driving next-generation programs elsewhere, where manned fighters command loyal wingmen that extend reach, survivability, and lethality. As of late 2025, estimates suggest over 300 J-20 airframes have been produced, that number matters, 
because air power is not just about technology, it's about mass. J-20 brigades are now spread across multiple theater commands, with a heavy focus on the Taiwan Strait, the East China Sea, and the South China Sea. Persistent presence, continuous deterrence, and now with the J-20S, that presence becomes smarter, more coordinated, and more difficult to counter. The J-20S does not exist in isolation, China is simultaneously advancing the J-35 naval stealth fighter, the J-35A land-based variant, carrier aviation expansion, long-range sensors, and data networks. Together, these systems form a layered air combat architecture, not built for a single decisive battle, but for sustained, high-intensity campaigns. The two-seat design tells us something critical. China is willing to invest more people, more training, and more complexity to gain dominance in future air wars. The J-20S is not just another fighter, it is a statement, a declaration that air combat is no longer about dogfights, but about information dominance. By adding a second crew member, China is betting that human decision-making still matters, especially when controlling machines that fight alongside you. This is not the end of the J-20 story, it is the next chapter. And as stealth fighters become flying command centers, the question is no longer who has the fastest jet, but who controls the battlefield before the first missile is fired. This is Armory Unveiled. If you want more in-depth military aviation news, hit like, share this video, and subscribe to the channel.